Happy Saturday morning, everybody. Welcome to day seven of your 10 day wellness challenge. I can't believe we're nearly at the end. I hope you guys have been loving it so far and you've been creating some healthy habits, some simple health hacks for just everyday life that are really starting to make you feel better. And um, I'm loving the engagement here in the group. So to those of you who are following along, thank you. It's great to read your journey um, as you go on it with me. Now, today I'm going to be talking all about one of my favorite subjects, which is healthy snacking. And I don't know about you gals, but I love food and I love a snack and I love chocolate. <laughs> but for me, it has to be something that's going to be nutritious, delicious and healthy for my body uh, because I suffer with a lot of um, intolerances to food. I get bloating and... Um, I don't feel very good in my gut health when I don't eat well. And so for me, it is just imperative that I nourish my body with good quality whole foods all of the time. But I know that they're not always available to you, um, you know, when you're out and about or if you're just not prepared at home. And so I wanted to make a recipe. I want to show you guys how easy this recipe is that I make all the time. I'm going to do it in live time with you so you can follow along. This is a recipe that I have in my fridge, like literally all the time. I make it about twice a week. It's so good if you've got visitors coming over, you're popping out and you want to take some with you or you just want a little something yum to nibble on during the day that is good for you. So strap in um, and I'm going to teach you today how to make my healthy homemade protein balls in like less than a minute. <laughs> so what you're going to need is um, a high speed blender and it definitely needs to be one that's a good quality one that can crunch up nuts and dates. Uh, I may have in the past blown up probably at least three or four blenders just because of the way that I like to cook food from scratch and make food from scratch. Um, I didn't have good quality ones. So I'm going to be using a Thermomix today. This is what I've got. But if you've got a good quality like Nutribullet or Vitamix or just a, like a really good high speed blender, this is going to be awesome for you. So Let's get into it. So on my Thermomix, I can weigh things, but you want to make sure that you've got 150 grams of raw cashew nuts, okay? Make sure you're buying the ones that aren't salted. We don't need any extra salt and yucky things that have been done to these. We just want them in their most raw, natural form. So we're going to chuck about 150 grams of cashews in here. Now, I have made this recipe, I reckon, at least 150 times over the last 10 years. <laughs> I know this thing off by heart. Oh, hi, Emma. I can see you watching live. I know this recipe off by heart. I could literally make it with my eyes closed. All right, next thing that you're going to need is some cacao powder. If you only have cocoa, that's okay, but I really recommend that you get cacao if you can. It's just such a better quality um, plant-based chocolate powder. Much better for you. So we are going to throw in um, a couple of tablespoons in here. And I, I'm pretty heavy-handed with mine too. Like, I don't really measure them out. So I'm going to chuck that in. Now, I'm going to use a different ingredient today. I'm going to show you why. But if you don't have a chocolate protein powder, you need to do two of these. Okay, so two cacaos, but I'm going to use a chocolate protein powder today because I want them a little bit extra protein-y. Um, this is the one I mentioned yesterday in my video about supplements that I use. I think I showed you guys the vanilla one. So this is the chocolate version of it, and I love this because it just adds 13 grams of protein to the balls, so they're nice and filling on your tummy. But it's also got um, pro and prebiotics in it, so they're great for your gut health. And um, it's got some veggie powders in there as well. So things like broccoli, alfalfa, mushroom, pomegranate, and you cannot taste them. So some added whole foods, um, which taste really good. So I really recommend putting some of that in if you have some. 
Um, all right, next thing that we need is dates. Now, I don't really measure these out too much. I know it's about 100 grams, but I usually just go with 10. So um, you can do just a dried date like this, or you can use a, a fresh like medjool date. Just take the pip out of the middle. If you're using a medjool date, you probably use about seven, eight of them. If you're doing a dry date, we go 10. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I don't know why I know that, but it's 10. <laughs> All right, and then the wet ingredient that you need is coconut oil. Now, I'm nearly out of coconut oil, and you can tell it's summer because your coconut oil isn't solid. So grab that tablespoon again, and we're just gonna do one tablespoon of coconut oil. If you find that um, once you've blitzed these up, they're too dry and they're not, um, they're not mixing well, add some more, but you want to make sure you go on the lesser side in the beginning rather than the, the more side, okay? Um, because that's not a good problem to have. All right, so I'm going to make a little bit of noise now, but stay with me because I want to show you the end product, okay? So I'm going to blitz these up on high. Um, if you've got a Thermomix, I usually use like speed eight and I'm going to do it for about 20 seconds. Okay. So stay with me. I'll probably entertain you with some dance moves. Ready? Let's go. Okay, let's have a look. All right. So as you can see, this is my mixture here. All blitzed up, ready to go. That took 20 seconds in the blender. Um, this would make, like I roll these up into little balls and just pop them in a container in my fridge. This probably makes like a dozen or more, 12, 15 balls. Um, and all I do is I literally just take the mixture out. <laughs> it's like, honestly, this is cooking 101. Roll it up into a ball and done. Like, that's it. If you want to be fancy and roll it in some, like, coconut afterwards, you can totally do that. I'm impatient and can't be bothered, so I just put them straight in my fridge like that. And, guys, that is literally it. Um, these will last a cup, like, I usually, well, I would say a couple of weeks in your fridge. They don't last that long for me because I make about two batches a week. But that is my absolute favorite snack um, of all time to have in my fridge. And it literally takes about a minute to make. So there you have it. I'll pop the recipe in the comments below. But I would suggest you always have these ingredients in your pantry and that you make up a couple of these batches during the week. Chuck them in your fridge and you've always got a healthy filling protein based snack on the go. Hope you love that today. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that about this recipe, let me know. If you make them, chuck me a photo in the comments. I'd love to see you guys making them as well. I will see you tomorrow for day eight. Have a healthy weekend.